thefootballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down the Baltimore Ravens and the Seattle Seahawks. Now let's look at the Ravens flying out west, pun intended, to take on the Seahawks. Offensively, you have to like what you saw out of Joe Flacco. One thing that's important though, when you're playing the Seahawks, it's gonna be tough to run the football consistently, so Flacco is gonna have to have another encore performance. Now where they can attack the, ball to, uh, the Seattle Seahawks will be on the flanks. The Seahawks corners are banged up, but they are playing uh, they're playing solid, they're playing their hearts out, but they, they have some opportunities. I would say Torrey Smith has to be more consistent, he has to catch the football better, he can't catch it with his body or his forearms, he has to catch it with his hands, but you look at guys like Bolden, those type of guys are going to have some success against the Seattle Seahawks because they do a great job of playing that ball control type of passing game. So I look for these guys to stay in those 3 by one formations, those spread formations, 2 by one with the tight end, those single back formations, and they're going to be able to run the football a little bit inside. Reason being, you're going to take that extra guy out of the box and put more, uh, you get better run fits and run blocking. Uh, positioning when you're running out that formation, especially when you have a guy like Ray Rice that has that one cut downhill type of style. Now defensively coming in, you want to make it tough for Tavares Jackson. The way the Ravens do that is 60 minutes of pressure. They do a great job of getting that pressure on the interior, on the outside. So I look at the tackles for the Seattle Seahawks versus those outside rushers of the Baltimore Ravens. That's going to be the biggest matchup. If they can consistently force Tavares Jackson to step up into the pocket, he's going to step up right into Haloti Nada and all that meat that's in the middle. So I look for the outside rushers, Suggs and company to have a huge day pushing the edge against those offensive tackles. Now if you're the Seattle Seahawks, you have to come in and you have to make it tough for the Ravens. The way you can make it tough for the Ravens defense, you have to come in and you have to consistently hit those passing, uh, those short to intermediate passing routes. The Ravens will give up a little bit in the short and intermediate passing game. So it's up to Tavares Jackson to consistently hit those guys accurately and not with the interceptions that he has plagued that's plagued them a little bit this season so i look for these guys to be consistent the good part about it the seahawks do have the receivers to do so guys like mike williams guys like sydney rice can use their body to control the middle and get good body positioning over uh, over these corners for those short and intermediate routes so the seahawks have to consistently hit those and then marshall Lynch should be able to run the football now defensively stopping the ravens is all about eliminating the big play and the good part about the Seahawks, that defensive line, Red Bryant in particular, he's playing at an all-pro level. It's all about stopping the run and forcing Flacco, Flacco to have another big day. And the way you do that, again, dominate the line of scrimmage. The Ravens love a, is a big physical team, big physical offensive line. So the Seahawks have to do a great job of reestablishing the line of scrimmage. If you back the Ravens offensive line up at least a half a step or a yard, this is where you can have an advantage because those linebackers have a lot of speed and they have free roll to the football. So I'll have... Full confidence that the corners could match up well and could play effective defense, especially with the two safeties they had, like Darren Chancellor and also Earl Thomas. But it's up to that front seven to reestablish the line of scrimmage and force Flacco to hold that football just a little bit longer, and that way you can have some success. X factors in this ball game for the Ravens has to be Torrey Smith. He has to step up and be that consistent threat outside of Bolden. He has to consistently catch the football. X factor for the Seattle Seahawks has to be Marshawn Lynch. If they can get the running game going, then Tavares Jackson can operate off flash and it won't be all on his shoulders. I'm going with Baltimore this game. That defense is playing fast. I know, again, you can't pick against the Seattle Seahawks at home and they're playing tough. Red Bryant should be an all-pro, but I think the Ravens come in and defensively win this ball game. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.